Hello, Glenn here from RC Plane Stands. Today I wanted to show you how to assemble your bench top model. You will uh, receive it, a box of peanuts, and shrink wrap like this. With all your parts in here, your hardware, your instruction sheet, your arms, and your sides. So you'll get it, and this is what you'll receive in there. Two rails, depending on what length you got. Uh, these are 24 inch. You'll receive four of the arms and two of the sides. And your instruction sheet. The issue I've had with these designs is that the weather changes in the different areas of the country. Some of these I've messed with the tolerances, and if I get them too tight, they don't fit in on with some guys. So what I've done is made the tolerance where it's um, pretty tight, and you can put them both in, and then. Uh, like I said, depending on your weather that day or whatever, these bottom rails can fall out. So a workaround is when you pick it up, squeeze it in, and it'll hold them. And the other workaround is in your hardware kit here. I've included some little Velcro strips. So you'll get these little strips here, peel off the uh, sticky deck, take this and you put it inside these rails here, the side rails. So you just stick it on in there, then when you stick it on here, it gives it that little bit of friction where it's snug. Velcro should adapt better for the different uh, temperatures and humidity. So that's what we're doing now. Got our hardware here. You get four of the five star knobs, four of the five sixteenths washers, and four of the five sixteenths by two inch uh, lag, uh, lag bolts. You're going to put the lag bolts on from the inside out. Okay. And the top of the lag bolt has a square uh, head on it under here. And so the first time in, you're going to have to, uh, the wash on the outside there, you're going to have to tighten it up pretty darn tight to. Uh, suck that square head into the wood. When you're done, we want it to be flush with the wood, the head here. That way you don't have to have a wrench on this side when you tighten these up and loosen them. So once it's sucked in there the first time, then you just loosen this one side, adjust it where you want it, and so on. So that's why I'm using these. So basically all you're doing to build this thing is put on the four arms. You bolt sucked in. They're pretty easy to just spin off and on and adjust. So, there you go. That's it. Now you get your six feet of Velcro. Wrap it over one side. Put it down. I usually want to cut about 60% and 40% because the one side of the fuselage and the nose is a lot bigger. So that'll allow you to adjust these way out here and still have enough Velcro to uh, stop it from hitting the wood here. And then you'll cut this off and use the shorter half for your uh, back half of your slush. If you do need it tighter, if the back of your fuselage is thinner than that, then what you can do with these, spin it 
spin it, and then when it gets to a little bit of play in there, hold that and pop that off so that the uh, carriage bolt will pop out the back. So now we can turn these around. It's this way here. Put that there, that there, and then your plane never touches the wood. So that's how it works. Okay, I wanted to show you one other thing. Since we're here and we have this built, this is the tray for the uh, bench top model. Now uses the exact same as the uh, bench top without the tray, but it just sticks in the tray here. So just that easy, whether you get the tray or not, that's how it fits. You see right here, there are notches in the tray here. At the end of the 24 inch rails, slide right into it. So if you do want the tray, this is what you'll get. It's the exact same uh, procedure as we're doing it together. And uh, call or text me if you have any questions or problems with it. Be glad to help you out. And that's it. Thanks for watching.